Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Jago Dragons Rising Season 2 video on the channel today. So this is going to be my third and last part for now, because we only got part one of Dragons Rising Season 2 so far. But this is going to be my last part before I switch to other stuff that I want to talk about in the world of Ninjago. And that is another installment of... What Dragon's Rising Season 2 improved on, but not necessarily for Season 11, but from a season from almost a decade ago, aka the Tournament of Elements. And what am I talking about exactly? Well, it's the idea of, well, the idea and the execution of the Elemental Master of Smoke. Now... If you watch Season 4, you would know that the Elemental Master of Smoke is named Ash. No, not that Ash from Pokemon. Um, different Ash. And the weird thing about this character is that he doesn't have any spoken lines. He only has laughs and grunts. So it's kind of weird that he has a voice actor, which is Brent Miller, by the way. Um... But yet he doesn't really say anything. It, it 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 feels like they could have done something with his character, especially considering he had a cool fight scene with Kai in the third episode of Tournament of Elements. But after his elimination, there really wasn't anything that they could have done with the character. And honestly, that's kind of disappointing considering he didn't really have that much of a personality considering we don't know him because of his lack of dialogue and he did return i think in wait no i don't think he did return in he didn't even return in hunted i don't think he even returned in hunted at all um which makes it all the more disappointing but now it seems like we've gotten a new elemental master of smoke who not only has written dialogue but it seems to be more than meets the eye. And of course, I'm talking about Cinder, aka one of the, I would guess the second in command, or trying to fight to be the second in command for Lord Ross, along with Jordana. And honestly, this guy is a freaking badass. I swear. I mean, even in his base form, he was knocking fools off of their feet. But once he goes shatter spin mode, he's on another level. Like, this is him at his base, and this is him with shatter spin. Like, he's off the charts. It's it's almost not even fair to fight against him with shatter spin, considering there's literally only one technique that can counter it, which was Rising Dragon. The dude was a straight up menace, and the to top it all off, he's voiced by pretty much the master of the dark, broody, edgy voice villain type, and that is Ian Hanlon, who is, who, if you remember, voiced Acronix from Season 7, Hands of Time, and he currently voices Shadow in the Sonic Prime series. So, I think they did an excellent job casting Ian, because I honestly wanted Ian to come back for so long, considering how much talent the guy has, and I just wish Cinder could talk more. And I and I kind of understand where they're coming from. They want to do let the actions do the talking, understandable. But if you're going to do that, why not make him a silent or a mute character like Mister E? And yes, I know Mister E technically did speak in season eight, but it was more of a backwards message rather than an actual piece of dialogue and it kind of sucks that he doesn't really speak that much considering you know a lot of people love his voice already and i do too it just makes me want to see him more and more just to so he could body more people left and right and center i mean he is elite the reason why wildfire was sidelined throughout most of part one he literally beat Euphrasia to, like, within an inch of her life and treated the ninja like they were just nothing. Like, they were still working on from 
just working on the basic spinjitsu. <laughs> it's just, it's insane how a concept from several years ago can be adapted on and improved upon several years later. And it makes you wonder, man, if only we got this back in the day, you know? It just, it really makes you think that we could have gotten this back in the day had other directions not played a factor in their decision, in the writing's decision to, with the current direction. So, I really love Cinder way more than Ash ever could, but... What do you guys think? Who do you think is the be better Elemental Master of Smoke? Cinder or Ash? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumb. So subscribe to your channel by clicking that red subscribe button. And click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next, in the next video. Bye-bye.